Wir haben jetzt ein Kleid für Earth und auch für Cloud. Und damit sollten wir jetzt eigentlich in die Brautschau kommen. Damit willkommen zurück zu Final Fantasy VII Remake. Wo ist überhaupt Cloud? Ich bin gerade Earth. Da ist er. <lacht> Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? But no! But you're so pretty! Ach du Scheiße. Okay, äh, ich wusste, dass hier das passiert, weil A, habe ich das Remake auch schon mal gespielt und B, war das auch im Original genauso. Aber wie soll ich wohl jetzt sagen? Was heißt denn eigentlich das hier? Ist es... Ach so. Das ist irgendwie so ein blauer Balken. Ist es irgendwie so eine, so eine Art Haltbarkeit? Hoffentlich nicht. Was bringen eigentlich die... Was sind die Ohrringe? Die müsste ich mal upgraden, ne? Die haben wir noch gar nicht abgegradet. Hat sie überhaupt Zauber? Müsste sie normalerweise haben, denn sie hat nämlich die beste Marquis-Stats. Das heißt, sie braucht es eigentlich. Hier Frost. Mama. Glut oder irgendwie. Ja, Glut. Ja. Stärke ich jetzt nochmal Feuer und Eis bei ihr. So. Machen wir jetzt mal weiter. Das ist unsere wunderschöne Claudi Claudia. Ja, ich weiß, da heißt schon die Mutter, das macht keinen Sinn, aber. Wie soll ich ihn, wie soll ich ihn sonst nennen? Meinst du für mich? Komm mal hier ist sogar ein Dialog. Ja. Vergibt mir, Miss, aber die Art, wie du mich anschaust, ist rather. Oh, wer ist sie? Oh, Gott, ich muss alles über sie lernen. Ich habe eine Reaktion emotional. Ich habe Willst du mich verarschen? Ich meine, die Haare sind ja total chaotisch. Ich meine, die sind sowieso chaotisch. Ich muss aber sagen, das ist Kleid hier von den drei auf jeden Fall am besten. Also, ähm, von den drei Kleinen auf dem Cloud meine ich natürlich. 
von den anderen, ich meine, im Gegensatz zu Aerith sieht das schon scheiße aus. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Ja, der Leslie, der weiß schon, was hier abgeht. Aber es ist ihm egal. Leslie ist ja übrigens auch ein neuer Charakter. Und er hat ja auch eigentlich eine Plotline in dem Spiel, Trigger, was extrem interessant ist. The two of you here for the audition? Second yeah. floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's... Hey, hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. so dizzy gas come on damn it cloud Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No, not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, But then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Boah, kannst du aufhören, so rumzulaufen, Cloud? Das macht mir echt Angst.
Für übrigens, kleiner Fun Fact: ähm, Die sorgen sich ja gerade beide voll um die Aerith, so als der Aerith die Jüngste, aber tatsächlich ist Aerith die Älteste von denen. Das ist, das ist der Verkaufsautomat, das ist total hässlich, da kaufe ich nicht mal ein. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies, let's hustle. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want Akifa, to übrigens, da ist dieser rothaarige Typ, der will dich die... Der will dich, ja? Bei meinem Herz gehört Aerith, tut mir leid. Kannst dich ja mit Johnny abfinden. Bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> Or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kid. Also, ganz ehrlich, wie konnte er Cloud aussehen? Im Original konnte er noch die anderen sogar auswählen, aber hier nur Cloud. What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate, like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> 
situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Schade, eigentlich waren die Autos voll cool, vor allem das von Tifa finde ich richtig cool. Okay, und jetzt steuern wir Arif und Tifa. Das müssen wir natürlich gerade mal wieder gucken, Moment. Was hat sie alles noch? Hier können wir einmal den Schokomoppel gehen. Gewitter hat sie noch. Barriere kann sie noch haben, theoretisch. Was machen wir da jetzt natürlich, ne? Warum hat Cloud zweimal Frost? Das sollte so passen. Erstmal. Tobsucht. Weiß ich ja nicht, ne? Da kann man es ja gar nicht kontrollieren. Teach this bitch some manners! 
Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! Uh -huh. <gasps> oh. 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 <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it.
Damn it, Reeks. Okay, gut, aber wie es hier weitergeht, sehen wir im nächsten Part bei Final Fantasy VII Remake und ciao.